Hi everyone, my name is Jacob. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Link. We build your enterprise search engine. The average company. Oh, video. Why? Like my problem with the video is that there's so much going on within a video that it distracts people from the pitch itself. And for me, like I'm here to see the founder and how they articulate the business, not how a founder talks through a video. Like if I want to do that, I'll just go to YouTube and watch that. Right? Like I'm here to see you present about your business. It's just annoying to me whenever I see a video just being stuck in and it honestly in my opinion as someone who's done this a lot like just sticking a video in there feels lazy to me company operates with more than 50 systems and each system has their own knowledge repositories like slack and notion how frustrating is it for you to search for information across these systems and end up empty-handed this is all because everything until now is based on keyword-based search. Introducing factor search. Here, you can ask questions like this, and you can get meaningful and accurate keyword and search, and you know, this is like a magical. Factor search is full of fun until you actually have to implement it. Your development team has to evaluate dozens of solutions and integrate them into existing systems. This is not scalable. Like, it's, these things are just talked about in such general, wide expansing ways that it just doesn't feel relevant in any way. And so I'm, I'm really advocating for use a specific customer use a specific customer example your customer your potential future customer like i'm gonna beat this over and over from what seems to be most of these pitches like use a concrete specific example like hey such and such uh you know joe software engineer at you know uh choose one meta right like joe at meta wants to be able to search through his slack his uh you know notion and his uh, GitHub and he's using keyword search and as it turns out I can't find anything uh, and this isn't just a problem for Joe but for his entire department you know Sally John and Dave all have these issues as software engineers and it really causes a breakdown in I think it was in between indexing and retrieval and retrieval so you know they really you know meta as a whole is losing you know, 20% labor hours and productivity because employees are just frantically searching through, you know, the, the internal tool set. Here comes vector search to eliminate that waste from organizations. Like that pitch and that story, it's easy to follow. It's easy to understand. Obviously, more polished, more thought out story, even better. But just that basic flow makes it sound a lot better and a lot easier to understand than looking at those videos and then going into this very generic generalized like discussion of what the problem is focusing in on a concrete customer use case it's the best way in my opinion that is where link comes in we simplify the entire process to a single api reducing months of due diligence and integration to just a few days Here's our use case. First, your development team connects your database using our API. And then it's all set. Your support team can do vector search for relevant information across systems. Also, your Don't say your, like hypothetically for someone's organization. Like use a specific customer example, all right? Because talking about it hypothetically, like, if I were to be thinking about organizations that I've worked at and then thinking about this problem, I'm not focusing on the pitch, right? I'm starting to think about like issues and all these different things. And I understand like if you were like looking for prospective customers, you might want them to think about how they could potentially use it, but then they're not focusing on you. They're not 
Um, they're off thinking in their own way and, and imagining as opposed to following what you're presenting them. And I don't think that that's what uh, this gentleman wants. And uh, I don't know how that benefits the startup, right, in, in this pitch. Like, create a concrete customer example. The customer gets to see themselves in an example. They get to see it in potentially an aspirational perspective, right? Like, if I chose Meta as the example company with engineers at Meta, right, um, the audience member might see themselves in those people and might see them as, like, oh my gosh, like, this huge company, you know, would use it in this use case. Like, why aren't we? And so on and so forth, right? And, you know, obviously restrained by wh whether or not you have that big big name, big logo as a company. But, you know, even saying it hypothetically, um, you know, you still get that benefit from a peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, level of, of, of business to business customer, right? So, you know, just having that concrete user... Makes it easier for under, uh, investors to understand, right, what the specific use case is. Customers can see themselves in other customers. You don't have to be like, audience members, close your eyes and imagine, right? Like, that's kind of, I mean, I'm being a little facetious, but it's along the same lines of what you're doing when you're talking about, like, use case. Think about what you would be doing with this. Like, just distracting and it's not specific and... um not not the most smoothest way to explain it. Although I will say that his content of what he's explaining is good. It's just lacking like a specific concrete example. So um like it's just like with the last pitch, it's like there's a nugget here of like, okay, we can fix this, right? By just going through some of these things. It's not like whole whole wholly missing, but it's just in how you structure it. It could be better. Support team can draft answers based on search results. The link isn't just about simplicity. It's also about power. We offer hyper-accurate search capabilities. First of all, our embedding model surpassed the OpenAI's models in terms of accuracy. This means our search engine can understand the intention of sentences better. Another key differentiator is our multimodal AI. Unlike other vector search solutions out there, we can also search images, tables, and screenshots, which is 25% more of company data. Okay, so yeah, that was great, like the explanation of the solution. But again, it could be a lot better if you were talking about a specific customer use case what their problem is and how all these metrics are improvements to an organization right like whatever the kpi or the metrics in which an organization is judging their misfortunes on right their problem in right the solution is just the opposite of that right it improves it removes it creates or uh, it eliminates the negativity right and turns it flips it onto the positive side um or you know if it was uh, an amount of a negative then by removing it or eliminating it then obviously that's move uh, you know redu uh, reducing and eliminating um as opposed to creating or uh enhancing right so you know it can go in either direction there in terms of like how you flip or flop it but like it is a flip-flop at the end of the day uh, and so, you know, just from his descriptions there, there's like concrete numbers, there's concrete metrics there, it just needs to be related to a specific customer example. This is pressing challenge across fields, like our customer, including Samsung and Amplitude. Like, holy crap, there you go. Instead of Meta, use Samsung, right? Big logo customer, talk about a specific, you know, person, uh, you know, user at Samsung asked for their permission to be included in the pitch. Like, it should be a pretty simple conversation. Like, hey, is it all right if I get a customer testimonial from you and do like a little write up on, uh, you know, how your customer, you know, how your, how it used to work for you, how it, you know, like it's all part of the customer interviews. You should have already documented what their existing environment is like. And then, you know, 
hey, can we just have a discussion on how you're using our product now in your day to day, right? And like, oh my gosh, Samsung is a big ticket customer. Like, that's how you generate that excitement about your startup, about the product, right? It's like, oh my gosh, Samsung is their customer. I'm following. Okay, Samsung had this problem and your company is able to come in and address this problem for such a huge company. Like, I can see myself using this product in a similar way to this big company. Or, you know, as an investor, you're like, oh my God, if he can get Samsung, can he get what else? What other huge company too, right? Like, lead with that. Lead with that. I was so, like, saddened by, like, how scared founders are to name names, right? Use a specific customer example and lead with, you know, big big logos and big uh, points of like pride for your startup, like lead with it. And the demand for vector search has surged, especially since ChatGPT came out. And the, every company is looking to a large language model application to boost their productivity and cut cost. And the biggest problem here is search on company data. And that's our specialty. So I'll just put, uh, or I'll just note with this slide in particular, this seems like a slide or a graphic that you would see on LinkedIn that someone would talk. It's a thought leadership slide, like, or a discussion about like market sizes and those different types of things. It's too complex for a pitch deck. You know, there's so much there and so many logos that are not relevant to this particular company. Like whether you want to use it as like a competitive, like, competitive landscape slide and where your competitive advantage is or where you fit in, like simplify it, streamline it a little bit, right? There's too many words on here and, you know, some of the logos are fine, but, um, you know, it's starting to get a little bit much. And I think probably the areas that I would note is like here ish, right? And like this stuff here, um, this is fine. Um, but like, you know, this is fine. So really it's like this area and this area, which I know they're trying to draw attention to. Seems like it could be a separate slide in terms of like the flow of discussion. So, you know, if you want to talk about like the TAM and where it fits in with this type of stuff, I mean, I don't know if this is necessarily relevant. Um, like this is probably like when you're talking about like the TAM, SAM, SOM, like around this area, this... I don't know if this is more of like a competition, like competition may be more within this realm, right? So I understand this is like the full landscape, but it's a little bit complex to just be sitting on and digesting this slide, because again, you want to remove all the potential points of distraction in a verbal pitch that you're giving. So, you know, if you want to impress upon $750 billion in you know, the platform opportunity here and TAM of knowledge based systems, right? It's just 55 uh, or 558 billion, right? Like highlight that. Here's our team. We are five PhDs from MIT and Samsung. We are the ideal team to build enterprise search engine. If you know anyone interested in transforming their company with our vector search engine, please connect. Thank you. Okay, so uh, clap, clap, clap. Uh, overall, really great pitch. Um, I can obviously tell, you know, uh, it's uh, someone whose English may not be their first language, but I thought that they spoke really slowly and with confidence. And whenever there's, you know, whenever someone's speaking with an accent, I usually tell them, you've got to slow it down. I know you might be cat time strapped and like, you know, there's, uh, a time limit, but like you got to slow it down for the sake of people being able to understand. And I mean, his accent is very slight, but I mean, just in terms of like the flow and how things are being discussed and, you know, mistakes that you might make, um, you know, just being able to slow it down, that that's all the better. Um, so I did have some problems with like some of the discussion at the beginning and, you know, he has a big logo as a client, right? So like use that. And obviously, I I may or may not understand like the relationship with with the particular company because I heard, you know, some of them were they were like former employees at Samsung. So I don't know if this is like, for, you know, an internal tool that they built at Samsung or hey, you know, uh, former boss like try out our stuff, you know. Uh, but 
whatever the case is, right? Like, put yourself, you know, in this is a first impression for your startup. Put your biggest wins up front and use it and incorporate it as much as possible within the story and the lore of your business, right? And so when we listen to this this pitch that's going on, right, um, you know, being able to lead with the big wins, being able to utilize the big wins as a part of the customer story can simplify some of that stuff at the beginning. Give yourself more time because I felt like by the end of this pitch, it's a little bit rushed to the ending, right? Like, hey, here's our team. We're from MIT. Used to work at Samsung. Hope you like us. Goodbye, right? Like, allow for yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of, uh, you know, more time to talk about the business. So again, you know, when we were talking about like setting up the setting up the startup, it shouldn't take sixty percent of the pitch and then leaving yourself only with thirty percent left to talk about the business and then ten percent to talk about you, your team, and what's the future. It should be like. A third of like setting up the story. Who is the customer? Why is this a great market opportunity? Okay, this is our amazing product. This is how we're able to help them. This is what value we're generating. And this is what why us solving this thing is a great business. And then, hey, we're definitely the team to execute on this. This is a great experience. This is our team's mission. And this is what our vision for the future is. Right? And I, I didn't hear quite you know, some more of that stuff towards the tail end, right? Some of that stuff that might include, like, you know, this is, you know, following a great macro trend. What does the world look like because of this macro trend, presumably led by your startup? And so, like, what is the vision? You know, if Link takes over that entire TAM, what does the world look like? What does the enterprise world look like, right? In, a, in, in the B2B SaaS space, you know, how, how is this a monumental shift? If you're able to execute on all the things that you want to, what are those things that you want to execute on in the future? You know, uh, what are the specific traction points? What are, you know, uh, how are you de going to market? How are you finding these customers? Direct sales is this, that, like, obviously understand that you're constrained, but like by simplifying that first, like, two to three minutes discussion about the problem by just having a really clean and neat customer story. You can compress that at the beginning uh, and get to your business a lot faster, right? And hopefully you're proud of what's going on within your business. You know your numbers well, all that good stuff, and um, you're willing to spend more time discussing it. So uh, all in all, like I think it was good, good pitch, good solid pitch. I think it's a... Uh, a good business with some decent potential. Um, you need to be able to understand a little bit more in terms of like how the product is used because I saw like some scripts and some code. Um, and I, I guess it's like an API, but uh, you know, an API based business might need a little bit of discussion on how the business model works there, uh, and especially considering like use at, on existing systems right if there's a transition to another platform um you know how are those mitigated you know how efficiently is this api being used it's a little bit fuzzy on those specific details but it's kind of a minor quibble like all in all i think this was a um you know based off the pitches that i've seen today uh about demo day like it's probably an above average pitch but what does above average mean let's go over to the tier list and check it out. All right. So, uh, in terms of like the overall business metrics, I think honestly, I probably give this company like around uh, eh, maybe like an A minus B ish. Like I think, I think there's strong potential in this startup. They've obviously got a big name logo company, um, but I do also see that there might be like. Uh, an internal scratch my back <laughs> type situation there with, you know, being former employees getting their existing employer to use their product. Also, it's a big company, so I don't know how entrenched the product is. It's not really uh, well discussed um, within the pitch about that. But, you know, you, they generated some excitement and some 
hope for the future. Maybe not in like specific traction numbers, but in terms of interesting technology, interesting use case, and um, you know, following of a uh, of a current macro trend. Some might call it a bubble, um, which is fair. Um, but just from you know the big logo, all that stuff that I talked about earlier, like can generate enough excitement. I think it's more it's like an A minus B plus. Um, so probably in that area. Uh, pitch deck. I thought it was clean. I really hate the videos though, so uh, it's probably gonna get like a B for me. Like I really don't like uh, don't like videos. Um, they distract from the main pitch, and I'm more concerned about, like, watching the video as opposed to listening to what's being said over it. So, um, there's that. And in terms of, like, the pitch itself, like, it's a good solid pitch. I'd probably put it within, like, an A, A tier there. Um, so, yeah, overall, um, really like like the pitch, like the company i think it's on a decent trajectory uh so far and you know with a little bit more information i can tell uh, i could probably make the evaluation of whether or not it's like great exponential growth but um you know based off of some of the pitches today like definitely what i would say like above average to to good pitch so on to the next startup